Well, those are good shows right there. Well, I think Tom and Pam probably selected this this illustration notes to a Punjabi girl on a poster depicting a Hindu goddess uh, because the the little cartoon character uh, in the picture is almost exactly the the figure walking away in the painting I made, made many years later on projection concept for a woodblock print that I had many, many years ago, uh, called the Protectress. But it is on an architect vellum that was given to me by Michael Strong uh, years before he died. And I always use it because I can make studies on one side and I can flip them over and look at them in reverse to see whether or not my composition is sound. And also it helps because I can copy onto the block from the reverse side so that when I print it'll be in its original position. That model that was a model for my drawing class. Remember Mara Doherty? Uh -huh. And uh, she and uh, uh, a friend of hers uh, modeled in my studio that Tom Wood had let me use up in, yeah. Yeah. And then after I got it, got started on the picture, why I, I discovered that my drawing of the fig male figure wasn't very good. And so Jed came and bailed me out by posing for me. And so the figure wound up looking more like Jed. <laughs> well, it's called a Apollo Disconsolate. And yeah, it's right. Apollo and Daphne. That's the last picture I painted for the Ron Bins. And it's in several shades of gold. Yeah, all those different tones are created by the different amalgams of the of the gold. The gold in the background is 24 karat gold, and the others are mixtures of either copper or platinum or palladium or silver that gives the different tonal variations or chromatic variations of the gold. The clay model that I made for this eventually turned into a sculpture that uh, was the basis for a, a lot more work. Uh, and there's one of our dear friends. Yeah, she was one of the one of the chief curators of this show.